Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start today's show off by showcasing a fabulous singer and entertainer. Rose Bonanza comes to us from Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, once a year, this lovely lady graces Key West with her presence. I definitely don't think she spends enough time here. Rose has been entertaining music lovers of all ages in different venues and clubs throughout the world. She has a style and a sound that is unlike any other. You'll get a little taste of it this morning. Rose, it's such a pleasure having you on the show. I'm I so happy you're you here. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for having me come back with you. No, it's wonderful. I look forward to your trip to Key West <laughs> every year, Rose. How about you start by telling our viewers when you first got your start in music? Well, I was three years old. I was um, raised in a Catholic convent and the nuns started teaching me music. Uh, my legs didn't even hit the floor from the piano bench, but they still hardly do. So <laughs> <laughs> that's <good. laughs> But uh, that's what, what got me into the business. I just love music. I love um, everything about it. I write it, I sing it, I play it. I, I just love music. And the first chance I got, I jumped right up on the stage, and, and there I was. And you blew everybody away, I'm sure, at a young age already. As a teenager, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I don't know where I got the nerve from, but you got it. it's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. so. and, and you knew what it was that you wanted to do, so you did it fearlessly. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, Rose, I mentioned that you come to us from Wilmington, North Carolina, mm -hmm. but you've lived all over, right, Rose? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. But um, I, I'll always be a New York girl, but I will never live there again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I've um, been everywhere. Oh, I sing in 10 languages. Mm -hmm. So I've been literally all over the world. Okay. I am an Italian girl, so I, I go to Italy mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but I work uh, most of the jazz clubs all over the country. Mm -hmm. And Las Vegas, I've been going to Las Vegas since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was just there this past July. And that was fabulous. I was going to um, work with Al Green and Retha Franklin, but I broke my leg. <laughs> Seriously. So, seriously, oh, you know, they tell no. you break a leg. Well, I you did, did it. <laughs> you took them a little bit too seriously, Rose. right? <laughs> so, uh, that show I had to cancel. I attended it, though. Okay. And uh, But I did do a show with that Frankenstein boot on. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you got a big, a big applause with that. <laughs> I don't know if it was because of the show or because I wore the boot on stage. Oh, you that's know. good. So, and then I had to cancel the other shows so I could get home and have the leg straightened. Oh, no. Know. But you're wearing so heels today, so it must be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you must be doing okay. Yes. Now, Rose, you spent a lot of time in Vegas as a young girl. Yes. I, I love hearing stories. Yes. Could you share some of yeah. your Vegas stories as a teenager oh with us? Oh my goodness gracious, I, I, I've made so many friends. Uh, I used to hang out with the Rat Pack before I knew what they were or mm -hmm. who they were. You mm -hmm. know, they were my friends. And we would l meet in the Sands Lounge after all the shows. They all worked in the big rooms and I always worked in the lounges in, mm -hmm. in all the hotels that most of them not, are not there anymore. I worked at the Desert Inn, the Sands, the Thunderbird, the Flamingo. Most of those hotels on the Strip are just no longer there. I think the Desert Inn might still be there. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, however, uh, we'd meet in the Sands Lounge when everybody was done, and everyone would um, enjoy each other's jokes and comments, and, and the back and forth with the comedians was always a big treat. <laughs> and, and that's how I got to know them. Uh, Dean Martin used to sing to me. You know, Rosie Bonanza, this one's for you. Everybody <laughs> wants my body sometime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm his need. daughter's age. You know, we, I was the mascot, really. Oh. So, <laughs> Oh, I'm sure they loved you, Rose. <laughs> so um, I had a fabulous time with all of them. They were all just wonderful. And I, every once in a while, you'd get somebody else come in and out, Jack Palance or, or um, oh, my goodness, so many... Uh, Don Rickles, who is still a dear friend of mine, I mm -hmm. love him to death. Um, Buddy Hackett was a good friend of mine, and I'm sorry we lost him. Mm -hmm. uh, what a wonderful showman he was. Um, he, he picked me up one time from uh, the Desert Inn, 
and said, I always come and see your show and you never saw mine. So he kidnapped me. In between <laughs> shows, I had one more show to do. I had three shows in those lounges. They only had two in the big rooms. Mm -hmm. So I said, I have to be back from, I'll have you back in time for your show. So we get in the car and the driver drives us and we're going to his hotel and it's a red light. He says, keep going. So he says, I can, it's a red light. So he says, well, why waste the light? He got out, he tap danced around the car. <laughs> he jumped in the car when the light turned green. Now everybody behind us got out of their cars and gave him a standing ovation. <laughs> right what there on story, Las Vegas right there. Boulevard. <laughs> I said, oh my God, you're embarrassing me. He says, my kids tell me that all the time. <laughs> Rose, what an interesting life you have lived. We have to take a quick break right now. We're going to hear more about these stories, Rose, and talk mm -hmm. more about what you're doing right now in your career. Please stay with us, everyone. There's much more to come.